How's it going everybody, Active Shikawa here, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii for a brand new CTGP update for September 2022. This one looks really good, this one, uh, I've looked at the track list already, I have very high hopes for it. Uh, you'll see why as we go along. Uh, I just want to very quickly go through the, uh, the remove track before we get started as always. Um, ASDF course finally got removed, uh, it's been a long time coming for that track, I think a lot of people know my general thoughts and feelings on it. Very happy that that's removed. Uh, Resway 2, I, I did see quite a few people sad about Resway being removed. Um, I think for the memes, it was a bit of a meme track. I'm not particularly bothered by it going. I, again, I think it was a long time coming. And uh, Comet Starway got removed as well. Um, I admittedly kind of liked the track for nostalgic purposes, but I mean, I'd be a bit of a hypocrite if I said ASDF course and Resway 2 should go and Comet Starway shouldn't, so... I had some cool ideas for sure. I like the animation on it, but yeah, all three of them, uh, it was their time to go. Actually, it had been a long time coming uh, for those three to go. Um, but yeah, super excited. Three new tracks and six, yep, six updated ones. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. Yeah, here we go. I don't even need to, uh, I don't even know to, uh, to look, I don't even have to look at the, um, the wiki to know who this update is made by. It's by Squire. Roasting the Snow World updates here. This this corner's been fixed. This or what's this corner? I guess this corner. Yeah, this turn's been fixed. Thank God for that. Yeah, that was one of the uh, the really big uh, issues with the track before. Like that one corner was just absolutely horrendous to drive. Um, so that's my main issue with the track already fixed. And it's a Squire track, so it obviously looks beautiful. How's this? Okay, this this path isn't the slide anymore either. That's actually yeah. That's again. The second main problem has been fixed too. Because the other main problem is that that part of the track was just insanely slidey. So it was just a massive pain to drive. But yeah, that's that's really, really good news. The The update's already off to a fantastic start. I don't know why it feels a little shorter uh, than it did before as well. Um, might be just me. Um, but the other... Uh, I don't know. It just feels shorter. Right, how's... Uh... Okay, that bottom is... Well, that, that first part's been moved. I actually want to go down here and see what this is like. Yep, looks great. I don't know if they still have the, um, the double penguins. Uh, oh, look at the little light shining through. That's really cool. I've said it before. Um, Squire's main strength uh, with his tracks is animation. And also detail. So there's a lot of detail uh, in in his tracks. Which I really like. That's the Squire Birds. Wouldn't be a Squire track without them. I just love how this track looks. It's just so beautiful. Uh, it, I just have no words. It just looks so pretty. It's a really, really cool track. And a really, really good and well-needed update to Rosalind the Snow World. And I couldn't think of a, uh, a better person apart from... Well, apart from one guy uh, who could, like, do this. Like, who could make, like, a, an even more beautiful version. I love the Rosalina statue as well. I think... That, is that a raw Rosalina statue? I think it might be. I can tell from the uh, the dress. That's really cool. I will take the other route just for variety's sake. See how it drives. Yeah, this is this is really cool. Really, really good start to the uh, the update so far. But I mean, if if it keeps going like this, then I think we might have a um, a potential four star Fred rating or higher. But we'll save that for the end. We'll see how the rest of the update goes. But for now, really good start. Absolutely love it. Yes, this is great. I'm pretty sure I've played this version of Ribbon Road already, but I'm happy this is in C's GP now. It looks so good. Obviously, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, Ray, uh, Ribbon Road. It is in Rainbow Road for a second. Uh, GBA Ribbon Road is in uh, Mario Kart Wii now, replacing the uh, the old uh, Ribbon Road, which, like, it was fine, but it definitely had a lot of issues. Uh, this, this is just fantastic. Look at this. This looks brilliant. Because I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe recently. I wanted to, oh, I wanted to see if I could try for the shortcut. That first cut's going to be really hard to make, I imagine. Is the second shortcut still there? Oh, hello. There's a thing here. Oh, no. Where's that ramp going? Oh, I guess you can use the... You can you can turn off that ramp to end up around here, I'd imagine. Yeah, pro yeah that's probably it. Uh, oh, okay. So, okay, no, the shortcut is still there. They haven't made it as, uh, as broken. As it is in DS, because like they've only made one part of that uh, of that last section uh, available to drive through, 
Because I know Deluxe, like, there's like three different sections you can drive through, and he can basically skip that last corner by miles. Uh, so, kind of happy that they've they've nerfed it somewhat in um, in Mario Kart Wii. But yeah, this just looks so nice. I, I, lo I love the look of uh, Mario Kart 8 Rainbow, and I love how um, the creator of the track just like, they kept the same feel of the track as well, which is, I don't know, which is kind of what you want with... Because if, like, if uh, Rainbow Road had some, like, key details missing, then it just wouldn't be the same. I'm also pretty sure that's the... F I, I just saw the mouth of the flame road down there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. That's really cool. And I just fell off again. I'm not paying attention, because I'm just, like... I'm just trying to take in the environment. Because that's what uh, impresses me the most about original... Uh, I say original. About uh, original Mario Kart Deluxe version of Rhythm Road. There's just so much going on. There's so many cute little easter eggs that you can find. Um, in um, in this track as well, they've kind of kept the same feeling, which is why I really, really like. Um, but yeah, man, this just looks amazing. They do still have the Mecha Coopers, and they're, they're a, a bit less annoying uh, compared to um, compared to the previous... Uh, well, compared to the actual Mario Kart Deluxe versions. Because Mario Kart Deluxe... Uh, Mario Kart Deluxe's Ma uh, Mecha Coopers just, like, constantly get in the way. Whereas here, it's like, yeah, it's fine. There's the baby booster! And I was right there, it's a flame runner. Any other vehicles around? Is that the... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a vehicle in, uh, in Wii or not. I'm not sure what that is. That might be the Mark bike, but I'm not sure. I guess fell off again. Is that Daisy Mark bike model? I swear, I swear I just saw Daisy's hair. Let me quick check one more time. Okay, I can't quite see, but that is Daisy's color scheme. But yeah, super happy with this update. It took me a hell of a longer than it needed to, but like, man, this is a, a really, really good start. Love this track. Much needed improvement, and uh, yeah, super thrilled with it. Okay, Daisy's Palace. Not a custom track that I I play or think about that often. Let's see if this update makes me change my mind on it. Um, as always, if there's uh, if there's nothing really substantial change to the last update, I'll only do maybe a lap or two, depending on how long the. Oh, hello, this is new, or is it? Okay, that's not new. I thought that the. Um, I thought they just completely barricaded off their shortcut section for a second, but unfortunately not. But yeah, anyway, if, if the track is not, like, really... You know, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't have any substantial updates compared to the last one, then... Or the, compared to the previous version, then I'm just not going to play too many... Uh, I'm not going to play, like, the full race. But yeah, I mean, nothing seems to be different so far. I don't know if the, the background's any different. I don't know if it was a, a proper, like, almost nighttime theme. But it's, like, kind of a mix between nighttime and, like, dusk. Um, but yeah, I, I can't spot anything different about. So I imagine this is one of those bug fix updates, which is which is fine. I mean, you do you do need them, but uh, yeah, I've already I've already mentioned um, my thoughts on that, so I'm not going to go into detail on it again. But I only drive like maybe two laps of this because it's not like you know. Can I go through here? No. Okay, so that that part is completely blocked off for time drops. I imagine for you know if you're in a version race, you'll still be able to get through. But uh, but yeah. I want to actually. I want to see how this uh, this uh, is because like, this is like one of the main. Okay, they might have actually changed the spiral because that that spiral it might it might just be from experience, but that spiral does not feel any. It feels like way less irritating than it used to because like in the in the Daisy Palace that I know, um, that spiral used to just drop you off kind of whenever wherever it felt like. like it, it ended a lot later than you think. Um, it might just be from experience, but I'm not, I'm not sure if that's changed, uh, so I can't say for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't really notice much of a change on Daisy Pass, so I think I'm just gonna skip here, but like, I think there might be some changes, but I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure. Alright, Dark Matter Shrine, another track I don't particularly think too much about. Not like, I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that more in like a... Like, I don't really... Ooh! New stuff! New path! Oh, that's off-road, too! Okay, this has changed. This is kind of what I'm looking for in, in updates like this. There's, oh, there's so much... Oh, I like the new paths. I think is that that might be the new... I want to be the only new things uh, added, just the new paths. But, like, man, that changes a lot. Like, you can imagine, um, like, strategies in this track completely changing uh, with, this, with the addition of them. That's actually really neat. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. So yeah, like Dark Matter Shrine, uh, a track that I don't really uh, think about playing too often, is what I more mean to say. 
Um, but yeah, this is this actually like those new like that new path is actually well, there's actually there's multiple new paths, aren't there? Because the shortcut around here, which is just like yeah, that's really easy to do. It's like, oh, I can just I can just do that and then mushroom, boom, and I'm there. That's so quick. As a shortcut here. Oh my god, whoa! Okay, that's cool. I'm not gonna take those shortcuts again, but that's a, those are some really cool cuts you can do. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. These are like way more noticeable changes compared to uh, Daisy's Palace, which again, I'm not entirely sure if that's got updates or not. Like, I say properly, but like, if there are any like noticeable changes, I will mean. This has noticeable, noticeable changes. And the track is uh, pretty enough anyway. I don't think it really needs any updates. Like, this is really cool. It's as I say, like, the, um, I think these new paths definitely have a potential to, uh, you know, change strategies uh, for the track as time goes on. That's really cool. Does this track still send you miles in the air? Yes, it does. Oh, wait. Those things don't move anymore. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's actually an interesting point as well. You can also do this, I'm pretty sure. Okay or not, never mind. I know I know that is a shortcut you can do. Maybe if you like jump trick it, uh, you can like you can do that. But yeah, those uh those platforms not moving, I remember being a um, a key part of the um, of the track originally, so oh no. So the fact that um that they're not moving anymore. I mean, I'm not gonna say it loses some of its charm, but I think it's actually a good thing that they're not moving. But that's definitely a change I wasn't expecting to uh, to see made. That's brilliant! Yeah, super thrilled with this. Like, this is kind of, again, this is what I want to see from, from updates like this. This is fantastic. Really, really good stuff from, from Dark Matter Shrine, though. Alright, GCN Sherbet Land. I mean, just from looking at it, I'm not sensing that much has changed. Oh, the shadows have changed color. Ah, very cute. I didn't think it used to be red before. That's very sweet. They've changed the tint Shy Guy color. That's nice. Ooh, okay. I mean, no, again, nothing much here is, has changed, I don't think. I don't think the, um, uh, the wall is blowing. Is that, like, cold air through their nose? I'm not sure. I don't think that's new. Oh, okay, this is still as slutty as ever. And the freezy still steady flying back. I, I almost wish they were just walls, but at the same time, like, I know that if they were just walls and you just kind of, like, just, you know, bonked into them, it just wouldn't really help anything. That might be worse, but I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if anything's changed here either. I'll have a look around. I'll drive for three laps of this because it's not like it's not the track super long. But I, I, again, I'm not sure. I was gonna. I think there might be some subtle visual changes to like the road here. Like, like this section feels different. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it definitely feels different compared to before. What I do like is that um, they haven't just explicitly Mario Kart 8 eyed it. Like, I love the Mario... I love the look of GCN um, Sherbet Land in, um, uh, in 8 Deluxe. But I, there's something about the Double Dash style that just really makes me smile. I love just how kind of... I love that every, like, everything just has personality. Like, I love the derpy like, looking trees. They just look so cute and kind of like, you know, friendly. I love that. Uh, yeah, even the walls here, like, have little faces on them. That's really sweet. Uh, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure. This section here feels different, but again, it's like Daisy's Palace. I can't quite put my finger on it, so... Again, I'll leave that to, uh... I'll leave that to the jury, but... Yeah, it's, uh... It's, if anything has... If that section has changed, not bad. Alright. Final updated track. N64 Calamari Desert. Again, I don't... I, I'm not looking... It's not looking like there's much of a change. I imagine just from looking at this, it's just going to be the uh, the bug fixes uh, like it has been before. There's the train. As I've uh, as I've always maintained, this is Powerman's favourite track. Oh, hello, train. Have they made uh, that train's like come on like a lot earlier than usual? Like my think. I mean, usually like the train gives you a little bit more time to to breathe. Because I think like. Uh, usually the first train, like, or that, like, you usually get trained like, if you're, like, three seconds away off pace. But, like, I think, I don't think I've been, I, don't, I haven't been driving. I haven't made a single mistake yet. That train was like, no, I'm just going to ruin your day immediately. It's a shortcut from seven still up there. Yeah, it is. Okay, brilliant. Let's just go over here. And from eight as well, because that shortcut's at eight, too. Yeah, not bad. I mean, again, I don't think anything's really changed on this one. 
Which is a little disappointing, considering that ev at least everything apart from possibly Daisy's Palace and um, and Jisen Sherbet Land has something changed. Although I do still feel like Sherbet Land, that, that floor has changed. I think it, it looks smoother uh, in Sherbet Land. I think it's my um, my conclusion. There are definitely a couple of visual updates to it. Um, but yeah, with this, I don't think there's anything. There's nothing noticeable about it, which is a little disappointing, but I think, you know what, honestly, overall, it's, um, you know, it, it's not it's not too bad. I, yeah. It, it's a little disappointing that nothing is, like, you know, really overly visually interesting, but I mean, other than that, I think it's just kind of, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's all, those are all the updated tracks, and uh, now we're going to see the three brand new new ones. Okay, DS Rainbow Road. It's finally arrived in uh, in CCP after years, I'm pretty sure, of people asking. I mean, th this is for sure one of my favorite DSs. I remember when I was five, yeah, five, and I had this on the DS, and I would just, yeah, I would just play this incessantly. Oh, okay, this is a little different. So, yeah, how has EPL done the the loop de loop? He just hasn't. Okay, yeah, because you couldn't really do, you can't really do the. Oh, hello, is this a off road cut? I actually can't tell if that's off-road or not. That's a, that's a weird one. But I like it. This is why... Oh, hello. This is what I like about... Uh, nice, multiple tricky road. This is what I like about ZPL um, and his takes on, on custom tracks. He always adds a little bit of creative liberty with it, which I really, really like. Uh, it, it's really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, this DS Rainbow Road looks really good. I love the city feel as well in the back. I don't think that definitely wasn't in the original. Uh, which, yeah, this is, this is really cool. Um, and yeah, he, he has fully skipped the, um, uh, he has, he has fully skipped the, the loop to loop, which is, which is fair, because you can't really do the, um, you can't really do the loop to loop in, uh, in this game. Like, you, you can't really. So you have to, uh, so that is off, I guess that's my KMH going down to 28 there. That's not normal. Um, but yeah, really, really cool, uh, version of the track this. I'm, I'm super happy that it's gone in, considering, again, it's, it's probably my favourite uh, Rainbow Road, or at least one of my favorite Rainbow Roads. It's this and uh, GCN, and, and Weeze, Weeze is pretty good as well. Uh, but yeah, those would be my, my top three. DS, GameCube, and, uh, and Wii. Maybe not necessarily in that order, but like, yeah, this version is really, really good, as I say. Um, there's so much animation, so much just stuff going on that I really, really like it. Um, and again, animation can really make or break a track, and this has so much animation going. It looks, it looks really good. Um, like, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of animation, but it's not, it's never, like, you know, too much, I don't think, you know? Which is what I, uh, which is what I like. Just coming to the line now, and yeah, again, really, really good version of the track by, uh, by ZPL. Solid work, and, uh, yeah, super excited to see, uh, to see this track getting into CCP. Really, really, really cool stuff. Okay. Before I probably get into this uh, this track, I want to say I want to make three observations real quick. A, uh, I love the staff ghost on this. The beginner staff ghost is called Obstagoon. There he is. That that is that is fantastic. Um, secondly, this is the only track in CGP beginning with O. Fun fact for you. And three, um, I have played this before, and I do think that this is Spy Kids' best custom track yet. Like, I've. I have a history on uh, on this channel, and in these reviews, of being not very kind to Spike in tracks because a lot of them I'm I am not a fan of. Like uh, everybody here knows my opinion on Sinister Vault. Uh, a lot of people here know my opinion on Athletic Raceway, for example. Those are two. Uh, I'm not saying I've never said that Spike Kid does bad tracks. I just a lot of them I'm not a particularly big fan of. Um, whether it be, I don't think they're particularly, you know, fun to play, or, you know, I don't think, like, some parts are very well made, stuff like that. But, um, I honestly think that, like, Spy Kid has gotten better. He's gotten a hell of a lot better than, um, than when he, than when I, like, first started playing this game and I would see, you know, see some of his tracks in, uh, in the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a very, very good track. There are some issues with it that I have, like, I think the, um, the Blind Fireball, um, kind of, I'm not going to say it sucks, but it's just a, a gameplay concern I have, just because it, you know, I don't know. If you're, if you just really take you by surprise, it might just feel a little bit unfair if you just get hit by it, and you, you have, like, no chance to avoid it. Uh, but, like, that, really, that's it. I already have many other problems with this track, like, which, 
Yeah, which usually with spiker tracks, I would like be able to find at least five things that I didn't like about it. But this, I really enjoy it. Uh, like the track just looks, it looks really nice. First of all, like, the track does just look really, really, really good. Um, I love the way it drives. I like the animation in it as well. Uh, like the little waterfall there is nice. I love the obscure dancing. That's really cool. Uh, and I think obscure's a Pokemon as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it looks like a Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it's been. I've been told by I think Mayro when we played this together for Custom Track Showcase that it was a Pokemon. Um, but yeah, really, really good stuff. Uh, it's it's like the uh, the Gengar on Dragonite Sound. I think this is a Shulker here too. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. But yeah, a lot a lot of stuff going on there. There's a lot of moving parts. Like now you're in the castle. Now you're in a dungeon. Now you're outside again. Now you're back in the uh, the castle with a different part of it with a waterfall. Now you're in the garden. And you know any garden that's um, that's Peach Gardens inspired, I will immediately like it. So I, I do really like Peach Gardens. I've got a, a soft spot for that track, admittedly. Um, I also do like that he made a face in the middle of it, like, in the middle of the minimap. That's that's quite funny. Um, like, oh, I, I I love that when uh, I don't even know if that's, that's intentional. But I imagine it is intentional. I love when um, when when tracks and track grows with a sense of humor. That's that does just generally make me laugh. Um, but yeah, really really good stuff. Um, I actually can't wait to see where Spike it goes from. I don't know if um, I mean Spike obviously would still be making CTs, but like. Yeah, in terms of um, what he does next, I'm looking forward to seeing it. He set himself a very high bar, and hopefully, with his with his next track that we play, either a CT showcase or if he gets in the CTGP, I hope that he, that he exceeds this. But it's this is really really good stuff. Okay, and finally, we start with a Squire track, and we're ending with a Squire track. Bowser's Termination Station, which I will always maintain is, so far, the best-named custom track of any custom track in existence. Like, the, the name is just so good. This, this, uh, this CT has a very special place in my heart. This was the, the first track that I played with Mero for, uh, Custom Track Showcase. I, 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 it must be recorded on my, on my, I think it is recorded on my channel, uh, when we played this. But, yeah, this is the first track I believe you played in CT Showcase as a whole. Um, but all you have to do is just look at this track and, like, just see how much is, um, there's a lot going on there. There's like loads of different sections that you go through. Uh, like you go from like the actual like Bowser's Castle uh, part, the termination station part, to a Kamek area, back to Bowser's Castle, the pipe infrastructure. There's a lot here that um, that reminds me. Of, the the pipe section there reminds me of um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, like GP Arcade Bowser's Castle, with all the pipe infrastructure going on there. That's really cool to see. I love the, the satellite shortcut too. I didn't actually realize that, that was at first, but it's, it's a satellite shortcut. I'll take that mushroom cut near the end, but yeah, this this, this track getting in genuinely makes me really happy. When I first heard this might be getting in, I was like, I was super excited to see it getting in. And now it's here, and I am i couldn't be more overjoyed that it's in. Um, but, oh, there, there's so much here to, to like about this track, I love it. Oh, and it's a two-lapper as well. Okay, I didn't even realize it was two laps. Because, again, when me and Mero plays, it was three laps. Interesting. It's a shortcut here. So just, yep, shortcut there still exists. Fantastic. Yeah, this is this is a really, really cool track. I'm I'm super happy uh, this made it in. Because Squire tracks, again, I think Squire tracks are really, really good. Um, and, yeah, we, we have uh, three really good um, brand new tracks. Like, these, these tracks are incredible. I look at that, like, just the, I, I just love how, like, everything here is, you know, there's just, it, it's what I say, I've said it about Squire Track before, but like, and like a ZPL track as well, and tracks with, like, lots of animation in general, but like, if there's animation in a track, hello Toad, wherever that Toad was, but yeah, if there's animation in a track, it just makes the track feel, like, way more alive, and like, I, I just love it, I, it's, it's almost like you're going through a journey of, um, like, Bowser's Castle, straight to Rainbow Road, and then back to Bowser's Castle again. And like, you know, I can tell this section is very heavily inspired by, by Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe, because the, or slash Mario Kart 8, the animation, the satellites, like, yeah, very heavily uh, inspired by Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is, you know, which is always nice to see. But yeah, really, really cool way to, uh, to end the update. Really happy that this has finally got into CCTV. And I just can't wait to be playing this for ages. Like, I'm going to be time trying the hell out of this track. Not necessarily because I enjoy time trialing, but just because I'm having so much fun playing it.
really good way to end the uh, the update. All right, and that's September 2022's update in the books. Uh, just going to give it a final Fred rating now, and then I'll be on my way. I, I've, I've been debating hard back and forth, forth about like what to actually award this. I'll give it four and a half Freds out of five, which is very high praise. Um, the only really notable uh, downside of the update is Ancestral Calamari Desert. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, but just considering what came before it, it was just a bit disappointing to see nothing actually updated. Um, Daisy's Palace and Jesus and Sherland are a maybe. I mean, Sherland had like, a couple more noticeable visual changes than Daisy's Palace did, um, but I'm, I'm still not sure um, if it's like really worth you know putting it in the positives. But everything else is just stellar. I mean, really, uh, like the five tracks, like Dark Matter Shrine is really good as well. Like, I love the the track changes of that. That surprised me. Um, but like really, the three brand new tracks and two uh, like retro tracks being updated, or two other retro tracks being updated, I should say, really carried this one over the line. Um, like Rosalie in the Snow World, really good update to that track. I I think a lot of people enjoy playing that track now. Ribbon Road, fantastic. I love the the I love the eight deluxe feel of it. Cause obviously, it's based on that version, but I love the Mario Kart Wii kind of changes to it as well. I love how it drives. It's a lot better as well. Uh, DS Rainbow Road, really good version of it. Again, I love when ZPL takes creative liberties. With custom tracks, I don't like... Or with retro, I don't quite work in, Mar in Mario Kart Wii, but he still managed to fix them, so they're still really good. Oldskin's Palace, really good update. By, or really good track by Spike, I should say. Love playing that track, and uh, can't wait to play it more. And then Bowser's Termination Station, really, really good track. Uh, like I, I can't say anything else. The best name track in CTP finally got in. And it's, it's a really good track, it fully deserves it. Not just in name alone, but from how it's designed, how it plays, and just like, how it feels. So yeah, really, really strong update for September. And whenever the next update's gonna be, uh, it's, the bar's been set now. Hopefully next uh, next update will have a full five out of five Fred Star rating. The only update I'd ever give that to really would be December 2021 second update. Uh, we'll see if we get our uh, our second one there. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Really, really good update. Uh, so take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be the best you can be. And peace.